Hey, what's up, y'all? Valrick here. Excited to be playing Neo 2. I'm gonna be doing a Let's Play series on this game. Super hyped about getting into it. I ended up making my way through the first, I guess, area and a half, you could say, or mission and a half, not area. Um, and decided to start over and just record the whole process um, to kind of show the game off and really just have fun while I'm playing it. Um, so let's just dive right into it. Once upon a time, a giant man with horns appeared in a distant village. The villagers welcomed him with joy, believing he brought blessings from the spirit world. However, as time went by, they began to fear him. Tormented by the villagers, he began to attack them. Until he came to be dubbed a demon. One of the village youths decided to make a stand. A multitude of golden stones, forging them into a blade that gleamed with an otherworldly light. With this mysterious blade, the invincible demon was cut down at last. The young champion who slayed the fiend entrusted the blade. Live on, my child. Be strong. Ah, oh, you have gone big, have you not? I just can't wait to see how our child turns out. All I know is that there will be no limit to their potential. All right. So this character creator is fascinating. Um, it's actually very robust. Um, one of the better character creators that I've seen in, in a game like this. Um, if any of y'all have played the Souls game before, it's kind of hard to create a you know halfway decent looking character um, at least for me it was. This game, uh, for me it was, it was pretty easy, um, to get just a character that I was happy with, but I'm, I'm actually surprised that they even let you go in and customize your yokai forms, mm. um, I like you can get all the way down to the different horn types, do you think will be blessed with? different hair types, things well, like that um no need to be even for the hair that is on your character know they will make us proud like you can do I a different base hair for the day I get to brush and then you can go and customize hair. the different bangs if you want sides um <laughs> if you want the back part of his like hair to be different father, you can make that different too they won't want to sit so it's really it's you. really a neat character creation i think i was pretty pleased with it um but i have already got my character created um, and I ended up uploading it and saving it so that way it just gives me a code um, so I am just gonna input the character creation code um, so right now on my screen I'm seeing the, the 
character creation code box that comes up. I don't think y'all will be able to see it. Um, but whenever one generates, it actually generates a pretty long code. That's put in, so I just took a picture of it with my phone. Um, and then all y'all are going to be able to see it at the bottom left of the screen in just a second. All right. So it's my guy. I uh, personally like the way he looks. So if anybody else likes the way he looks or even just likes the basic framework and just wants to change uh, hair, skin color, or anything like that, um, you can actually just take that character creation code at the bottom left and put it into your creator and you'll get this. So I'm gonna finalize. Yes, I wish to proceed. Grow up to be strong, won't you? Won't you? All right, basic tutorial area. Now this, I played a little bit of the beta. Um, not, not whole lot of it but even in the beta um, it kind of started dropping this area I believe at least the one that I played I don't know if there's multiple ones or not cool part about this you can peer into the water so you know sometimes when you create a character and you get into the game your character's like oh that, that that's not the same way it looked um, so far I haven't had that problem but if you have that problem you can peer into the water or once you get onto the screen where you select like main missions and side missions um, it was actually allowing me to go in and change my character up there too, so It's up there. You know, I've never been up there I'm gonna run up here real quick Nope, can't <laughs> All right, so I apparently it's uh from what I've looked up if it's you can respec your character later on um, I kind of like strength builds so I am going to go with that um, the axe from what I played with it so far it actually seems pretty cool I like this little lunging attack that it does here guardian spirits um basically select like the yokai form that you're going to be. So if you pick the bird, you're going to be a feral yokai. If you pick the shark, you'll be phantom. Um, I'm going to start off with this, and it gives me a plus one to strength. I'm going to start off with the wolf, the brute form. And I'm comfortable with everything else right now. As far as the tutorial is concerned, it was a decent tutorial when I went through it. that dude's life and he just ran away like I did nothing.
You acquired a Divine Branch Fragment. If you use one during a mission, you can quit the mission and return to the map. However, you will lose all the Amrita currently in your possession. Okay. Alright, so we're going to dive into the first main mission, the Village of Cursed Blossoms. I wait under the nighttime cherry blossoms for the hero that will set our village free from these horrors that plague us. It seems that this message is from someone that's heard whispers of my work slaying Yokai. There are no hints as to who sent it, but it appears to have come from a village called Jasun Zakura. If there really are Yokai there, then it might be worth heading that way to take a look. So, we'll be Yokai. If there wasn't, we really wouldn't have a game. Another awesome thing about this game, oh my gosh, the load times are so fast. Especially in a game where you're like dying over and over again because it's a little bit more challenging. Um, the, the Man, the load times are awesome. It really does the job. Should you pass. seek comfort in your sorrow, you would be wise to head to the nearby shrine. Alright, right out the gate, I am going to increase my stamina just because it increases my axe damage. That's just a personal preference. Um, I do have some DLC items. I'm not sure. I didn't pre-order the game, um, but I did get it. Uh, not the day it came out, but fairly quickly afterwards. I can't remember the time frame. So, everybody should have access to that. Not 100% sure, though. Uh, but the good part about it is it's a decent starter set. That's not super OP. Um, but it's... I'm going to wear some uh, kind of tougher armor. Might go through like a heavy armor build. So right now it's kind of what I was going for. I should have trained more. Stone. Think you can defeat me? Just no try it. important parts about Neo is oh, the people right? no and it restores a huge portion of your stamina so you don't run out of your or key I guess so you don't run out um, it's hard to remember to do that in like really intense battles though I, I like the easy guys where I guess it really doesn't matter as much um, it's easier to remember of course this guy I mean, he, what, if you go up and hit him, you kind of hit like a wet noodle, and he hits like a ton of bricks. Um, let me get these shinies over here, and I'll show you what I mean. Personally, I think he's an enemy that you should come back to once you level up a little bit and get a little bit more stronger, so that way you're not just trying to hit him all day. Oh, goodness. See, I hit him, didn't really do a whole lot of damage, and that one hit, he took almost half my health down. So I'm going to leave him alone. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, go down there. I love those little guys. Unlock the shortcut. Unlocks it back to the main shrine that we were just at. Not a huge time saver, but a little one. The 
Forget your belongings. Just get out of here. Go. Okay. That little area there is where Big Yokai will come out. Let's go down this path first. Oh! Man. Yeah, those little guys, even though they're just little, they'll get you. Treasure chest. Holla. Here goes. With this, I can drive these beasts away. And I'm going back around this way, um, and I'll show you why in just a second. Because I noticed that, see that entrance right there to that hut is right by that portal. So I was, my line of thinking is, if I come out of that door, um, it could spawn that guy. And sometimes, once they spawn, they just like go after you. So I was. Just figuring at least it'll give me some breathing room just in case that happens. Let's, let's just... Oh, no. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, it doesn't. That's good to know. Oh, right there. Oh, man. So if you just come out barely on the wrong side of the door, you will. Yeah, that did not work out. Oh, that reach. this down here and then I'll go back up over there. After completing a technique, return to a fighting stance and focus to replenish key faster. Yep. Get them? I don't know, these guys get up fairly quickly, so I'm kind of nervous about this. Let's find out. Oh! Oh, that did not work out. Hey, at least he didn't hit me the first time. Through your skull. I don't think there's anything else. 
Looks like there's some. Let's get the money. There's two guys. I'm gonna wait till that big guy there kind of comes back over. I'll try to do a drop attack there. Maybe I won't aggro them both. Spear guy turns his back. I'm gonna try to run up and get him. <laughs> kind of got lucky there when he threw the fire through right past me. If only this world knew peace, this child may have grown up to live a full life. All right, another try. The following option has been unlocked with the Make Offering menu, Receive Kodama Blessing. Alright, so now I can equip this Soul Core. I always forget I have these. Or always. I played through a mission and a half, so I don't know. Alright, let's go level up some more. Uh, let's get some more health. Let's put two points in Constitution. Health is always good. Activate Yokai ability. Um, this is a sample of one ability. Um, I think the one I have, I'll like jump up in the air and throw a spear, so it's a decent ranged one if I remember that I have it. Um, but each soul core possesses unique power, each requiring different amounts of anima to activate. Inflicting damage using yokai abilities can reduce yokai foes to a maximum amount of to a foes maximum amount of key. Your guardian spirit can be attuned up to two soul cores, each one corresponding to a different slot and activation command. Cool. Alright, well that's gonna be it uh, for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, when we come back, I'm gonna be making my way through the rest of the village. Um, and I think we'll even reach the first boss um, as well. And I know that, once again, since I've been through this part before. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much. I'll see you all next time.